Hey, ladies, look at that. I'm even Good. like, what? Five minutes. Hey, early. everyone. <laughs> ah, and I ripped Maggie into joining me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really had to twist my arm. Right? right. <laughs> oh, that's a short lag. Nice. So what have you guys been up to? Everybody have a good day, busy day. I went estate sailing. And as you can see, I found some stuff. <laughs> it's so Looks weird. Pretty guys, good. They do this all the time. It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're chatting away and then we hit the live and we come in and we're talking and then all of a sudden the chat just stops. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are we really there? <laughs> hey, hey, Victoria. Paula. And Laura. Yes, here. And Lori's Charlene. here. Paula's here. Victoria. And Penny. Penny. What have you guys been doing? I mean, it's been a really long time since I saw anybody. What you guys been doing? Hey, Beth. Hey, Beth. And hey, Sally. Sally. Oh my gosh, Lori, we're going to have to work on that. Holding a granddaughter. You're a T, Sherilyn. Uh, hey, Serenity. Hey, Lisa. Hello, ladies. And there's Lorna. <laughs> what did we get? Well, Lorna, if you look on the table, there's a few things. Paula made a list of her inks today. Well, nice. I feel like that's productive, but not terribly exciting. Of course, you know, I have a super exciting day planned tomorrow. Um, I found some shelves. So, and I've been hunting and hunting and hunting for shelves. So I found shelves today too, out shopping and picking and stuff so tomorrow i'm putting up new shelving units and redoing nice i don't I'm pretty excited right so then what i i the only thing i think i'm going to need to do is go get some of those like you know those fabric collapsible storage cube things i have to go get some of those but i think i can just run to the dollar general and get get them i don't need like super heavy duty ones So, hey, Donna, what are you up to? So, you guys want me to just start at the top and work my way down? It was a friend's mom I had never met her. I just Hi, Kathy. Oh, I see. I, I, I just, I looked up. I get it now. Well done, Lorna. Well done. Hey, Kathy. <clears throat> If you haven't had your evening snacks, Maggie's snacking. <laughs> so every if you hear that little bag rattling, Maggie's snacking. <laughs> Hi, Joe hey, Beth. See, look, we've got it down pat. We can talk in unison. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, not Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> Just having a couple of M&Ms. I needed the chocolate. I know she said chocolate. And I was like, hmm, what do I have in the cabinet? Oh my gosh, you and me both. I need to go like on a water diet for real. Yes, Paula. Yuck, the brownie M&Ms, those are gross. I don't like them. Hey, Pearl. I like them. I had to hit the back arrow. <laughs> Hi, Pearl. <laughs> Oh, um, did God. you see uh, Kathy B had her sacred memento shirt on? No, I she put a it. picture in the group. Oh, nice! I haven't been in the group today. Yeah, I don't like the brownie ones. I'm glad somebody besides everybody likes them. I seem like the only one. Yay, Donna doesn't like them either. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Hey, Amanda. I like the pretzel ones too. Nope. Not at all. Oh, not. Mm -mm. Geez. I know. I can't help it. I want regular ones or the peanut butter ones. And that's it. I don't like. Oh, peanut. I don't like the peanut butter ones. You don't like them. Mm -mm. See, that's so.
so weird. Yeah, me too, Donna. Well, I didn't have to throw them away. I had a child that was more than happy to say, I'll finish those for you, mom. I'm like, please do. I'm going to go I want look. Lori's pie. I'm going to go look as soon as we're done, Kathy. I'm going to go look. The M and M chocolate bar. What? I don't even know what that is. She went back to making a blueberry blackberry pie. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I'm in blueberries and blackberries. I'm in. Totally in. I know, right? She's Lori is a baker girl. I want to be her neighbor. I'll just bring her this stuff and maybe I can have a piece or two of whatever she's making. That would be nice. Right? <laughs> so Hershey bar with mini m, &M. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know how I feel. I don't know if I think I'm interested. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Kind of intrigued though. The Hershey bar with the mini M&Ms? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I did buy a new M and M last week. Um, they're called crispy M and M's, and uh -huh. I didn't like those. What makes them crispy? I'm not sure, but you know how um, that Nestle's Crunch Bar—that's what I was thinking it was going to be—and it's not. And it's not. No. Look at that. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. I think this is a tablecloth. And you're going to hear the hesitation in my voice because you can tell this is handmade. But look, there's two. And they're exactly the same. And they are coming pre-distressed <laughs> because something has clearly been spilled on both of them. This one is far more distressed than than this one but i love this and the only reason i'm confident in saying this is um that these are for sure handmade is you can see just if you really take the time to just look you can see just little inconsistencies in the stitches like there'll just be one or two that's a little looser as you're looking around it um Wow. And if it was, yeah, it is. They're just gorgeous. I think they're super cool. Paula wants to know if they're just looking tonight or shopping. Mm, um, I'm going to say I have no, I have no definitive opinion on that. <laughs> How's that? How's that? We'll just see what happens. I just thought it was awfully quiet here. I was missing Esme. I was missing hanging out with everybody. Mm -hmm. And I got all this out and got it folded and organized. And then I was like, well, before I put it away, maybe I'll just see if Mags wants to go on with me. So here we are. We'll just show everybody. Well, you know you have a problem when you are at a funeral and all you can think about is cutting up the altar cloth. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Only I'll, give Lorna. You, I'll give you that one, Lorna. For sure. <laughs> I'm not going to say I wouldn't do it, but I do, agree. I do agree that it might be a problem. Look at this. I love this. This was a doll quilt. This lady had lots and lots of doll stuff. Um, they're going to be there again tomorrow and they're going to pull out new stuff. So I'm just going to mm. see... We're supposed to have rain and stuff tomorrow. So it's just going to depend how I feel about it. Um, but I got everything that I liked just because I wasn't sure I wanted to go back tomorrow. So I thought if I just get everything I want, then I won't have any regrets. So, but these, Or if it would even be there tomorrow. Well, yeah, there's that too. Yeah. It was weird though, because she said hardly any of the laces and stuff like that. Hardly any of it had gone. So I was kind of like, that's that's odd. Wow. I thought it was kind of odd. But I just, I think this is really cute. 
some of these prints are feed sack, but a lot of them are just um, like leftover calicos. Lauren is calling dibs on the quilt. It's cute, right? Mm hmm So you guys will have to decide. I'm not feeling any way in particular. So you guys decide. Oh, How's Lori's going to fight her for it. Awesome. So I'll set that up there. I'll leave the stuff that you guys say you're interested in. I'll make a pile right there. How's that? Now we can come back to it. Look at this. So who was here and told us what this was? I know it was so long ago, like 24 hours, right? What What were we? T I don't remember. Filet lace and filet crochet. And that's for, this is, is that what needle. she called this filet is, lace? This is the filet needle lace, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. All I could think of was needle, and you filled in the other blank. So that's perfect. Isn't that pretty? It is. I love that. And this one's a runner. This stuff is beginning to be almost as much fun as the ledgers. <laughs> when I find it, I'm like, yes. This one's a nice shape, too. Lori thinks it was Leslie. Oh, look at Beth. If I think Ooh. I was thinking Jody, so you might be right. It's probably Jody or Leslie. And look at Beth. She found a book on how. So does that mean you're going to start making it for us, Beth? I mean, just asking. Goes in the like pile. Okay, Miss Paula. So then, oh my goodness. I just found a few hankies. There was only wow. a pile. Yeah. And um, let me tell you, I barely put a dent in the pile of them. So there, there was tons. <clears throat> absolutely tons of them. She must have been a crafter. She... Or a hoarder. I'm or not sure. mm. Go ahead. No, I said, hmm. Like, hmm. right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at this one. I love the white ones. I The white on whites are always my favorite. I Yeah, I do, too. Oh, that's really pretty. <clears throat> And fair warning, since there's so many of them, I'm not going to launder them and press them for you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If there wasn't so many, I would do it. But yikes, these would take a minute. Look at that. So that could be filet crochet, right? Oh, I bet you're right. Maybe. Just guessing. Where's our crochet and lace girls? Where's the girls with the knowledge? See, and again, the white on white gets me every single time. <clears throat> yeah, These that's tiny really little pretty. laces. Oh, I love mm -hmm. them. You like the dark one? Oh, the one on the bottom, the dark blue one? Yeah. I knew there was a couple of you that are, you like your blue. Look at this. When you get it opened up, you can see the design in it. Oh, that's pretty. Yep. And that's woven in. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Some of these are like brand new, never been used. Some of them you can tell they've been used, but there's nothing gross <laughs> going on. Because, I mean, they're hankies. You just never know. But there's just, there's so many, you guys. There's wow. every, yeah, there's every color. There's every kind. Like, look at that one. Oh, that's pretty. Then there's this one. And this is pink and white. Oh, it's, that's funny. It looks white. Right? Oh, white. Yeah. yeah there's, there's a pink around there. And then there's like these. So 
Sally wants to know if some are embroidered. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> yep, -er. there's a lot of them with um, like hand crocheted trims on them or edges. And then there's a lot like this one's embroidered. This one has the crochet and the cut work. This one's just printed. Oh, that's pretty though. I like, mm -hmm. is that daisies? I love yep. daisies. And then this one's um, embroidered. That's a printed one. These all have the crochet trim on them. So there's just, there's tons of them. And wow. I got, yeah. I was trying to pay attention to the colors you guys liked most. And that's what I was trying to, trying to pick up. See, like, <laughs> I like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did get a lot. There's like, I think there's almost 60 of them. I think. Wow. Yeah, and then this one's embroidered. This one's got the crochet. Some of them are on linen. There's one that's like a silk. I don't know what I would do with a silk hanky, but you know. Then this one is chiffon, which I think is absolutely crazy. Wow, you can see right through that. Right? So clearly that hanky was for looks. It was not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then this one is applique and embroidery. This one's real pretty. So we got all of those. Oh, my goodness. Let's see here. Put those over there. Look at this tablecloth. I know there's so many of you that are the pink. Yes, pink. So, but I think this is the only corner that's embroidered. Yep. Hi, okay. Debbie. Hey, Debbie, how are you? <clears throat> so there's the embroidery on that one. Hi, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? I wish you could, wait, let me turn that off. Maybe that'll help. That's really pretty. And it's definitely pink. It's kind of coming up a little bit peachy, but it's definitely pink. Um, I'm going to turn that other light on because now it feels really, it always does that. I, I turn that off and then I'm like, wow, it's really dark. There, that makes me feel like it's brighter. And then I know it's for you guys. So there's that one. <clears throat> Exhausted. Did you get your mom's? You guys are remodeling for your mom, yeah, Stephanie? Yeah, I think she was um, painting Paula. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Derby. They're remodeling every spare second, almost done. Nice. Hi, Derby. Nice. Awesome, awesome. So, in case you guys, pa Paula's claiming things. <laughs> yes, she Paula, is. I think Paula's determined that we're shopping tonight. So, if you guys see something that you want um, an opportunity to perhaps purchase, just, just put it in the chat and we'll try to pay attention. Does any, okay, you guys. So, I find these kind of often i don't want to say all the time or real real regularly but what is this i never ever know what these are i always want to think they're like a coin purse or something yeah or, it looks like a little purse like for a doll or something but you know what i wonder is would they have hooked this on a belt or like on their skirt and then this would have been like inside. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Almost like a pocket. Oh yeah, I get that. Posy pocket, Stephanie said. See, I don't know. You just don't know. Easter egg holder. Yep, that's what we're going to go with. It's an Easter egg holder. <laughs> hey, Jim. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, you.
There you go, Mr. Patty. That always makes me so <laughs> happy, you guys. So happy. He'll love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So then I have never found really cute pink gloves. Look at these things. I think these are just the cutest things in the world. They are. You don't see many, too many that aren't either, they're either usually white or black, right? Or right. like a cream color. Yep. I don't think I've ever seen pink ones. Mm -mm. Not like those. Linda said the the um, crochet piece you had. I've yep. seen things like that hanging in the kitchen on a hook for scrubbers. Interesting. Maybe. <laughs> Lori, <laughs> call them all out. Breathe, Paula. <laughs> Put keys in the house. Maybe for the house. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. So Paula, where are these going? Later or now? So then there's these. Look at, I think, I, I don't know. Look at that. Look at the trim. That's on. beautiful. And these are like, I don't want to say chiffon because they're definitely a polyester sort of, but look, you can see my nails right through it. Wow. See how sheer it is? They're just so pretty. They're like yeah. an elegant pretty. Right. Yeah, those are beautiful. They make me think of like Jackie Kennedy kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. Uh, not mine. You saw how many fingers I got in there, right? Not me. Then there's this pair. Like, I know everybody has white gloves, right? That you guys display or use or whatever. But these are new old stock. Look. Tag is still on them, never wow. ever worn. The cardboard is still in them. They're just cute. And I love the trim. Can you guys see? Wait, there it is. Look at that trim. Yeah, that's it's like pretty. a little scallop. So, so pretty. It's got the little. Oh my gosh, all my words are gone. It's hot here. My brains are boiled. It was 95 degrees here today in Indiana. I'm like, what the hey? So, yeah, I have boiled brain syndrome today. Miss Eris, that's who they are. That's the brand, Miss Eris. <laughs> Paula wants them all, I'm sure. Oh, probably. She's that way sometimes. And then this is just a pretty calico. I just had to get this for us. And... It looks really not so cute on the stream yard screen on YouTube. It looks pretty accurate. It's um, a lot of like peaches and corals and then that little pop of aqua in it. It's just really pretty. So uh -oh. that is that like just a piece of material or? Yeah. Yep. Like a cotton. Nice. It's just yardage. Yeah. Yep. Just yardage. Nice. Pretty. Yipper. And then Hi, was April. Hey April, how are you? Potpourri sell J pouches to hang around homes. Might be the crochet thing. Oh, you're right, they might be. Hmm. Everybody has homework. We need to all figure out what those are for right. sure. I think these went to a chair. Like, you know what I mean? How they would use them on the arms and the back. Because mm -hmm. there's those two. Yeah, those are pretty. It's a lot of work. <clears throat> and then there's these. Yeah, those look like they'd be the arms of the chair, right? I think so, yeah. And then this is a runner, obviously. But it's the same color, same design. Wow, what a nice set. Yeah. So I just, I'm just not certain. I don't know what these would be if they're not for the arms of a chair, but this is obviously a runner. So I'm just, 
I'm not 100 percent sure. Anybody got any thoughts on those? Let's see. No thoughts yet. <laughs> no thoughts yet. <laughs> hey, Luz. See, I Hi, it. Luz. I already claimed boiled brains, so I, <laughs> I have thoughtless moments. <laughs> Little moments of silence. Yeah, and I can say, wow, it's late. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So this lady, there was, um, so you, you guys know that like estate sales, there's usually like, um, there's, there's companies or people that that's what they do is they families reach out to them and they come in and set it all up and run the whole thing. And then they settle up afterwards, right? With the family. So sometimes family is around and sometimes they aren't. Um, so one of the daughters to this to this lady and her granddaughter were there and the lady whose stuff this was she used to go to france once a year because her sister lived there so she would go once a year and spend i forget a couple of weeks or whatever with her sister so most of this in this pile came from there because she would go over and shop and bring all this back or they would work on it together um a lot of this is handmade laces uh definitely see and this is where i need to really spend some time educating myself and get by some people who really know what in what the indicators are for like antique handmade lace versus just vintage and things like that because i am not that confident it's like i i kind of have a gut feeling but i'm just not always so sure but um this is um it's pretty but it's it's a polyester and it's you know it's an inexpensive vintage polyester lace but it's the color on it. It's like a nude almost, mm -hmm. but it's just, just a pretty design. It is. I just call those flat laces. Mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot about laces from you. That's for sure. Hey, Louise. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You think Linda likes it, huh? What have you been up to today, Miss Lindsay? <clears throat> so this piece, I have to tell you guys, I love this. And there's, I want to say three yards of this, but I haven't measured it yet. But look, this is hand done. Look at that. Oh, yes. I love that. Can't you just see this in like there's the right side there's more but like all you girls that do the pictures and the you print the photos out on fabric and stuff and then you use this stuff as your frames or edgings mm -hmm. i just think this stuff is beautiful it is i love that and the color makes me think of coffee with too much creamer <laughs> that's a good way of putting it is I don't know because it's not like dead on mocha but it's it's really a pretty neutral color i absolutely love this and over here i don't know if they meant to make more if they were going to come back and add on but here you can tell that the thread has unraveled a little in the last stitch And these are the tiniest stitches. This had to be one of those crochet hooks where you're like, wait, is the hook broke off? That kind of tiny. Mm -hmm. But I love this. Absolutely <clears throat> love that piece. 
Then there's these. And this one I'm pretty confident is a machine made bobbin lace, but it's still pretty. That is really pretty. There it is. And it's that perfect creamy ivory color that you could stain, dye, do whatever you want to do with. Oh, thanks, Louise. Cafe au lait. We'll go with that. I know, right? But it's so pretty, Stephanie. I mean, like, ridiculously pretty, right? Yeah, that one could actually be a um, an Irish Clooney lace, they call it. Oh, my goodness. Say that again. It's called Clooney, C-L-U-N-Y. This one? Yeah. I mean, I don't know for sure, but it looks like it could be. So what would make it that instead of bobbin lace? Do you know? I don't know. I've got to start hmm. researching, too, so I don't sound no, like I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I want to know because I'm paying more attention. Um, and, and because Esme teaches a lot about the lease. So it's like, she's made me more aware of things mm -hmm. that I wasn't before. Yeah. I don't know if, if the style makes it, you know, how like some French lace, mm -hmm. it's style. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's from France. Right. So that, that's why, but I'm going to, I'm going to look those up because look at this one. I love that type. That's different. Wow. And, mm -hmm, and you can run the ribbon through these. That looks really, really old. It, it is. <laughs> it is super <laughs> fine. It yep. is, and it's in perfect condition. It's absolutely <clears throat> gorgeous. There's a little discoloration, right? Mm -hmm. Right there. And that's the only thing I see on the whole piece. It is just really pretty though. It's absolutely gorgeous stuff. <laughs> right, Linda? Yeah, so soft. It's so, so pretty. So pretty. So then I'm just going to keep going through these laces and you guys can. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, wow. And these are hand crocheted also. This one has a little where the thread was snipped or caught or snagged or something. So it's almost a hole, but not quite right there. And some discoloration. Part of me really wanted to ask this lady if if these things were discolored before they came in, in to set up for the estate sale or if somebody spilled coffee while they were setting up. <laughs> because it seemed like everything that's got like, it just seemed like I could see where coffee had been spilled on like a box or a pile or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was just, it's just, I don't know. That's just what it looked like. It's what, and this one is the same pattern as this one. Wow. So I feel like these were being made to put on something. And look at this thread, you guys. Look look how fine that thread is. Right? Hi, Deb. That's like crocheting with sewing machine thread. And I promise you, I will never be that girl. Ever. No. Nope. So there's those. Then this one was taken. I can't decide where to go. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> this was obviously salvaged from something. This is a corner where they made a corner in it. But this, and there's a there's a nicer piece, but look oh, at that's that. different. Can, too. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a satin stitch that that oval, that circle in the center is, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it, it is absolutely as dainty as what it looks like it should be. It's so pretty. The tiniest thread, I swear. <laughs> and then there's two pieces that are just straight of that.
Isn't that pretty? Yeah. yeah. I just love it. And see, these don't, this piece doesn't look salvaged, and this piece doesn't look salvaged. But this one, you can see on the back where the pink is. See that pink right here and right here? Where it was sewn to something and it pulled it oh, back? Oh, yes. Yep. So this piece is obviously salvaged, and it's got that stitched corner in it. So... I'm just not sure if these have been used or if these were leftovers. I'm just, just not sure. But it is the prettiest stuff. And then the, I feel like there was, more, yeah, there was. There was two of these. Look at this. Oh, that's really pretty. And there's just, I mean, I wish it would pick up all the detail for you guys. Let me see if I can get it the right distance there. So, like, these little petals in the flowers, mm -hmm. they're dimensional. They actually, you can, they actually will lift up. So, they actually stitched those in and then came back and did the right, or came back and, I don't know how they do that. But, yeah, those little flowers are actually dimensional, the petals. So there's that piece, and then there's this piece. And again, I think these were salvaged, both of them, because they have corners sewn into them, almost like they were meant to be on yokes of like um, nightgowns or dressing gowns or something like that. Mm -hmm. But look how pretty that is. There it's focused, so pretty. This is super fine. There's just tons of them. Oop, let me get it. There it is. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Dollar signs are going up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. I oh, love that one too. That's like perfect for edging um, mm -hmm. on paper on a journal. Yep. And see, these are all cotton, all of them. If they're not cotton, I will tell you guys as we're going through them, but they are so, so delicate. Like, you know, the old vintage baby laces and how tiny and how delicate. That's what these make me think of. They're just beautiful they're just ah so so girly then there is let's do this one this one is obviously um well i say obviously i think it's hand crochet or hand hand done and i wonder if this is more of that like needle lace or bobbin lace this might be a bobbin lace actually because it doesn't <clears throat> It looks like it could be a chain stitch, these these open stitches, but this doesn't look crochet. So this might be a bobbin lace. Oh, hi, Karen. She wants me to read her previous comment, so i got to go up and... Okay. Hey, Karen. My eyes have been glued to the screen, so, Patty, have you been receiving my emails asking for invoice? Um... I bet they went to my spam. I will go look for them. Let me make a note, Karen. Let me make a note. Check. Check your email for Karen. Gotcha. I'm going to tape it right here to my screen. Thanks. You're welcome, honey. I'll put it right here on my laptop screen so I can't even close it without seeing it. I will check on you for sure and respond, okay? And thank you. Thank you very much. So, here's this one. And this one I feel like has been salvaged because there's a snip in it here 
But then when you come down here, there's like these little loose threads that have nothing to do with the crochet work. And see here, another thread's been snipped, so it's kind of coming open a little bit. But these are, this is definitely crochet. Um, but I feel like it was salvaged. Oh, and this is the circle one. Yep. Yep. Circle. It was salvaged. Probably. What do you guys think? Me? Oh, wouldn't it be cool if this was off of a baby dress or a christening gown or ah, something, right? But it's super, super pretty. Again, with those teeny tiny crochet hooks. I know. That's crazy. And this one, this one is round two, I think. Yep, this one's round. So this was a salvaged piece. Wow. Look at that. They're also different, aren't they? That's I, yeah. I started just going through them, and then I was like, "Never mind. I'm just gonna take the whole basket." Because <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was putting them all in in the yes basket anyway. So I'm like, "This is just ridiculous." I know, Lorna. I'm telling you, look at this one. Oh, wow. That's really pretty. And it is so dainty. And I think this would qualify as a bobbin lace. See, where's Esme when I need her? All right. And see that what looks like a cross in the middle of each one looks almost oh. like a Celtic cross. Yeah, it does. I didn't even see that. Nice. And there's two pieces of that one. And they're not real long, but I'm like, ha. Oh. Long enough. Yep. Wow. Yeah, they're super pretty. They're like, well, they're 10 inches. They're longer than I thought. They're 10 inches. So there's those two. Then there's this one. I honestly, you guys, this one is one of my favorites. And I don't know why, but I just. This is so pretty. Right, Lisa? Look at that. We're not sure yet, Karen. Right now she's showing everything that she found in an estate sale today. Yeah, that's so pretty. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Hey, Shauna. Hey, Shauna, this is one that, oh, and I was showing you guys the wrong side. Oh, good heavens. Look, here's the right side. It's got the dimensional flowers again. I felt it go across my knuckle. I was like, why does that feel like that? Here's the right side. So right there, you can see the flower, the petals. Mm -hmm. I Hi, just Caroline. absolutely love this piece. I would have paid a small fortune for yardage of this. I mean, it's it's really pretty, really, really pretty. So there's that one. Then there's this one, which again, I think this one was salvaged, but it's got the dimensional little flowers again. So the little flower petals are- I wonder if it, all those pieces like came off of something like really big or- I don't know. I don't know. And they didn't know. And it's like, I would love, I mean, I liked that the family was there because I got a little bit of the provenance of everything, a little bit of the history mm -hmm. and to know that, you know, the, 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 I can't remember what they said her name was, but she went to, like I said, France once a year. And if the family hadn't been there today, I wouldn't have known that. I would right. have thought this was gorgeous lace, but that's how I know that some of this is antique and some of it is vintage because she collected, she would go to the flea markets and stuff when she was there. And she, she, <laughs> she loved lace. Good night, Pearl. Good night, Pearl. So yeah. And the daughter said she, she kept most of the stuff that there was actual like yardage yardage of. And I was like, Hmm. <laughs> 
I was like, dang, <laughs> I wanted to say, you sure you don't want to share that? Right. But I thought, don't be taggy, Patty. Don't be taggy. Caroline P. says, I'm thinking these came from priests' vestments or something religious. Oh, maybe. That could be. That really could be. I like when you guys have great ideas. But look at that one. See, and I don't know if this is like, I think this is another one that would be a bobbin lace because it doesn't look crocheted really, except for that one edge right there. I feel like this would be another bobbin lace. Leslie would know if she was here by God. I know. It's that one. Wow. And again, these are all cottons. This one's really pretty. This one makes me think of baby clothes. It really does. It's so pretty. Then there's, th oh, this one's really nice. You guys will like this one. Oh my gosh. Isn't that nice? And yes. see right there. That's just the thread was, the stitch was pulled. Mm -hmm. Not torn, the loop is there, but it was just pulled. But this has never been used on anything. So I was like, okay, <laughs> you have one piece, 12 inch or 14 inches long. Ooh, man, my measurements are off today, 16 inches long. But yeah, that is so, so pretty. This one. And this pile is never going to end, you guys. <laughs> I know. That was one huge pile. Oh, look at that one. Yep, and see the little threads as I'm moving it around? This one was salvaged. This one's a circle. So this one was salvaged off of something. But I don't know about you guys. I kind of don't care. I just think it's pretty. Yeah. And this one feels handmade to me. Like the design of it, the weight of the thread, all of that. This one I feel like is handmade or hand crocheted. So this one, yep, this one's a circle piece. They came from an estate sale, Amanda. Wow. That pretty. I love the, the bottom of that. Mm-hmm. This piece is definitely salvaged from something. It has the corners in it. Oh, this, wait, hold on. Was this the one? No, I, I think this one was a square tablecloth. Or um, not dresser scarf, but like, you know, like how we use end tables, but they have like parlor tables and stuff. I think this was probably a cloth for something like that. But look at the pattern in it. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. See, and here's the corner. The corner was worked right into it. Yeah. See, to me, that that just seems like a, a church type thing. It could be. It absolutely could be. But see here, there's definitely some damage done when they took it off of whatever it was on. Somebody got a little aggressive with the scissors, I think. Mm -hmm. So there's that one. Amanda wants to know, are you going to be cutting that up, Patty? So, you know, I really wish I could say, yep, I sure am. <laughs> this stuff that is hand crocheted, I don't very, I mean, I'm not going to say I don't come across it because I do, but not this quality. These are really pretty and not 
and not with the story attached to them. Um, to me, that really makes these more special. Um, and well, and she that's second. But oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Go ahead, Megs. Laura, Lorna said she thinks it might have come off an altar cloth. Oh, maybe. Maybe. You might be right. It's really pretty, though. But yeah, I have a hard time. Long story short, I have a hard time cutting into these. Cathedral windows. It does, right? I was taking a minute and being quiet to look at it on YouTube so I could see what you guys see. It's funny how when I look at it there, I see it different than looking at it real close in person. So then this one is, this one's a circle. And this one I think was salvaged also because there's just little tiny threads where it would have been sewn to whatever they attached it to. But look. Oh, wow. And this I think would be really pretty with a ribbon run through it. Mm -hmm. I just think it would be gorgeous. This one's pretty long, I think. Yeah, about a yard and a half because it's 28 inches and then you would double that so you'd have 56 so so anywho as much as i know it would be nice if i could cut these longer ones the other problem i have is if i just cut them to send or to share with you guys i, f I worry that they're going to be all raveled and a hot mess and if you guys have them, then you can fray check them or cut them and tape them and do whatever needs to be done. This is so nice. Look at this. Wow. And this one is not a circle. Um, I don't think this one's been used on anything. Here's the beginning or did, I just had it. There it is. The um, beginning thread. And then I think it's got the end thread. Yeah, over here. And I've actually, yeah, this is the end. So you've got, you know, so I don't think this one's been used. This is actually probably the right side. No, I think this is the right side. I want to hit up the Google for vintage French altar cloth lace. Oh, I should? No, she did. Oh, okay. But she hasn't said what she found yet. So this one is really got some length on it. Let's measure this one. Hi, Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen, this one is going to be 60 inches, so it's going to be just short of two yards. Well, it's going to be like a yard and three eighths. Oh, she says so much stuff you'll want to take a look. Oh, goodness. It's a rabbit trail, in other words. Is that what you're telling mm -hmm. me? Is that where you're going with that little info there, Miss Lorna Taylor? Look at this. See, are you guys tired of that yet? That's all I have tonight. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. I have one phrase. So this one is stitched together, right? Right there, one single stitch. Oh yeah. I don't see any little threads where it looks like it's been attached to something. They're stray threads, but I don't think this has been attached to a single thing. No, I think sometimes they would do a lace, lace uh, you know, a length, and then they would um, just kind of, uh, what would you call it, like a slip stitch to mm -hmm. keep it together until they used it. Nice. Isn't that pretty, though? I. Hi. This is so pretty. And the color is perfect. Mm -hmm. A lot of these are like bone color. Like, do you guys know what I mean by bone? It's it's not cream. It's not ivory. It's not white, white. It's just 
perfect. And especially for us that like the vintage coloring and the coffee papers and stuff. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I'd love to know how long it would, you know, it took somebody just to do that amount, you know? Right. And this one's just a little bit over a yard. I mean, I wouldn't be the girl that would sit down and knock this out in a week. No. <laughs> then, obviously, this is salvaged. And there's a lock. I was going to say a really long piece, but I think it's multiple pieces. Let me see. Yes, there's two. So there's two of this. And you get this really cool vintage fabric with it. But this was worked in between the two pieces of fabric. It's not sewn in. It's actually crocheted back and forth between these like they did. So I know I'm not explaining that very well, but. Wow. Caroline nice? said she's looking at some similar laces on Etsy. There's a French antique shop that lists laces similar to these, saying that nuns made them. Nice. Nice. See, look at you girls. You know, right where to go. I like it. But yeah, so there's that one. This one is the same. Yep, it's the same, exactly the same. So there's that. Then I'm going to go, which way, which way, which way, which way? This piece. Look at, okay, so remember earlier when I was like, oh my gosh, this is so dainty. It's so delicate. It's so fine. It's so, this is all of that and then some. Wow, that's really pretty. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it's, that piece. Mm hmm. Isn't that pretty? And this is another one of those that's that like, what did, what did Pearl call it? Co cafe Latte or something? Yeah, Cafe Latte. Yep. Oh, gonna, Cafe Ule. Yeah, there we go. One of those kind of colors. There's this. Becky says that looks like Irish lace. Okay. So I may not have been too far off. You might not have been. Yeah, that's really old. Isn't that that's, pretty? Yeah. That looks antique. Mm -hmm. I think this is one that I would call antique and not even skip a beat because right. you don't find them with this kind of this, this netting or whatever this, right. I call it netting. So... I don't know. Lace, I don't know. I just, I don't know as much about it as I should, for sure. But this piece is so, so pretty. That's beautiful. And this is another one that I would have spent a small fortune on yardage of this. Yes. And this one's a circle. So there's that. Then I, there was a couple pieces of tatting in there. This I piece, was going to say, is that tatting? Is. This piece is absolutely amazing. I want to know if any of you have seen something like this before. This wide. I mean, I've seen some interesting tatting, but not 
not like that. Oh, here, wait, there we go. But not like that. Wow. No, I haven't seen that. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And I mean, if you pressed this out, it would be like three and a half inches. That would be a three and a half inch wide tatted piece. It is, I don't know, would you call it broken or torn? I think we're going to go with, I'm going to go, I don't know if it's called broken or torn. There's a few, like here, there's a hole that shouldn't be all the way open like that. The pieces okay, are, Jody. It could be, hey, Jody, did you, yeah, you said Jody. It could be, um, you could stitch it back together or if you were using it like on a project, you could glue it. But there are those two kind of major flaws in it, but it's just so delicate. Yeah, that's really pretty. I haven't seen one like that. Mm -mm, me either. And then this thing, there's, it's variegated. All different yellows, almost orange, but not quite. <clears throat> well, you usually don't see, well, at least I haven't seen colored uh, tatting. Mm -hmm. Usually, no. you know, beige or cream. That's and there's, yeah, and there's at least two yards of this, maybe three. So somebody was doing it. I mean, because tatting takes a hot minute. You're not going to just sit and do a three-yard piece just for because you're bored. Let's see here. One, two, nope, not three. Two, two and a half. Two and a half yards on that one. And oh, these, these always make me think of spider webs. There was two of them. So I had to have them both. And obviously they need blocked to get their shape back, but they're so dainty. Oh, wow, Lisa. She has pink tatting like you were showing. Oh, nice. Nice. Then this should have been with the hankies, but I just decided it was entirely too pretty to be a <laughs> Oh, that's really pretty. And this is like the softest. It's like a lawn, a lawn cotton or a batiste. It's just so incredibly soft. And then there's what the corners look like. Wow. That pretty. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. And this is what did what do you tell me, Maggie? Pulled thread, right? Pulled thread for this. I think so. Yes. And then it's got some embroidery, right? Yeah, I, I love that look. Isn't that pretty. And again, this is. I think it's Batiste, it is, but it is so, so soft and almost sheer, not quite. Like, this is so crazy light. If I put it on my scale, I'm not even sure it would register. Right. My mind just went blank. Shabby Vintage Dreams, and I know her. There is a, she says, there's a lace museum in Sunnyvale, California, that has a lot of these kinds of pieces on display. Oh, nice. Look at that one. Wow. Isn't that pretty. And again, look at this cotton. Look how look how sheer and lightweight that is. It's crazy. And that's cotton. It's oh, just man. so pretty. And this Hi, one is nuts look at this lace oh my gosh look at the detail mm -hmm. it's like the prettiest thing ever and there's this one oh my gosh wow. <laughs> this is so gorgeous they're so delicate aren't they And see, this one was obviously a favorite. For whatever it was used for, it was a favorite. <coughs> I 
I just, I love this one. I think it's so elegant. Oh my goodness. Did we get everybody? Have we said hi to everybody? I feel like I don't even know for sure. Oh, look, this is more of, I wonder if this is exactly the same. Oh yeah, it looks the same, doesn't it? They do. And they feel like the same weight. So whatever this is, we have more. Nice. There's more of that. Then there's this piece I cannot figure out for the life of me. I don't understand it. It makes me think of like Robin Hood time. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say that's antique too. But this is, um, I, I think this is hand crochet just by looking at the, um, the stitches. But again, yeah. this was made with like thread. It's so incredibly fine. <clears throat> and this fabric, it's definitely reclaimed from something. And yes, these are, it's pre-distressed. <laughs> yeah, that's it's beautiful. It's really pretty. It's different. Mags, you're going to love this one. Get this thing unfolded. This is in a circle. I'm positive this came off of a gown for something. Look at this. Oh, wow. Wow. That's gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And again, it weighs absolutely nothing. Yep. I just can't get over how fine they are. And that they've been here this long. That's, that's what just gets me. My great-grandmother... Um, she used thread to um, crochet. Oh, yeah? Yep. Not me. Nope. I could crochet you an afghan. But no, I'm not doing this stuff. Nope. Wow. And this, I'm not, this, the color of it, like, look at the difference in the colors. This looks like it's been soaked in coffee. It's that color. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And again, this one is a heavier one. So for sure, hand crocheted on that one. Oh, this one. I forgot about this one. This is the right side. And this is another one that I'm really confident to say is antique. Yeah, they're all beautiful. Look at that. The detail. Look at that netting again. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And I think, see, and look, there's this, it was this, it was stitched in the seam right there. So I think this one is another one that came off of a gown, like a nightgown or something. And there's almost two yards of this. Like it's like an inch short of two yards on this piece. And then these are just really cute little trims. So you've got the daisies on the one side. And oh, then yeah. this is pink, like little, um, there we go. It makes me think of the little picos on tatting. <laughs> it does look like that. So there's that one. And this one. And there's a nice amount of this one. 
but look at this. Oh, wow. And it's right at an inch, right at an inch. It's so, so pretty. Yay, pink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, so, so pretty. And then here's another one of those where I'm like, it's so delicate. It's so fine. It's so, it's so, it's so. Here's another one. Let's see if I can get, there it is. Oh my gosh, look at how tiny that is. It's ridiculously tiny. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And this one I haven't measured yet either. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. This piece. This is satin trim. And I don't know what the adhesive, I don't know if it's been on something and it came off, if the adhesive is so that you can put it on something. I don't have any idea. I've never seen anything like this. Um, it's absolutely amazing. But it did say that it was silk. Oh, wow. How pretty is that? That's beautiful. Love the colors. Mm-hmm. So, so pretty. And on my YouTube, the color is like almost dead on accurate mm -hmm. and most i mean it's 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 bright but it you can tell the age of it you can absolutely totally tell and it is so nice to touch beth, beth says that looks sound of music ish yeah it does yeah absolutely it does good call so these the daughter told me most definitely are some of her favorite <laughs> fabric samples that she brought with her from France. Wow. Look at these. These are velvets. And I know this looks like it's um, a satin back here, but it's all velvet. It's oh just my gosh. that perfect. Um, she said she thinks that there's more of them in a box because I was like literally drooling on these. Mm -hmm. um, if, if she can find them, this is like a brocade, not brocade. This is like woven ribbon here in the middle, this part. This is the only part that isn't velvet, this right here. I'm not going to lie. These are the prettiest things <laughs> I have ever seen. They are so incredibly soft. Like, no joke, I had drool running down my chin. I don't even know how else to explain it. Um, there was these four, but she's going to look. Um, and I did give her my phone number, so I'm hoping beyond hope she finds more and doesn't lose my phone number. <laughs> but look at these. This is woven, but this is... Um, this isn't velvet here, but it's like a, um, it feels like silk. <laughs> and then this is the velvet. I don't and think I've ever seen fabric with velvet in a pattern. I know, right? They're just beautiful. And the blue here is velvet. So the, all the blue is velvet in this one. They're just amazing. You're going to have some, some of them in the chat fist fighting in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. Wow. Ah, and it looks really rust in StreamYard. So I want to see what it does on YouTube. Yeah, this is not brown, you guys. This is pinks and mauves. This is really? All, yes. Let me find something white. Um, let's see if this is white enough to offset it. Because there's there's white right there. Okay, so I'm gonna.
going to be really annoyed. So anybody in the Facebook group, if this doesn't ever come across pink tonight, I will. Oh, that's close. Okay, to now it is. Okay. Right there. Wow. Yeah, now on the YouTube, it's pretty close. Yeah. It's a little bit, it's a little bit brighter than that or a little like because it has a sheen that you guys aren't getting with this angle. There you go. Now you can see the sheen. But see that sheen just makes it a little bit brighter. But there's that beautiful velvety sheen mm -hmm. all through this. So all the pink and mauvey parts are velvet. And then this is like, the fabric itself is like, it's like silk is what it feels like the background, like the, the um, creamy color and the white, those designs are woven in and it feels like silk. But this is just, and look at the sheen on it. It's just crazy. There really is that much sheen in person too. I just absolutely love these. And then this one, oh, ah. <laughs> look at this one. Oh, look at those colors. On StreamYard, it's pretty, pretty accurate. Let me see what it's going to do. This one's coming across pretty close. So you definitely have the very, the variegated colors. And we're having a storm roll in too, you guys. So if you hear a bunch of racket, I have thunder going on outside. Um, if I get kicked out, it's not my fault. It's the storm. Um, but yeah, this, these are just amazing. Absolutely amazing. You, this is, this is like the paper, you know, when I'm, when I'm, when I can't quit petting the paper, these, I could sit here and talk to you guys for an hour and just pet them. <laughs> They're so silky soft. It's ridiculous. And they definitely have a knack to them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you you haven't you you're showing it so you haven't seen some of the things that have come up in that chat. Oh my gosh. I don't even have an honest answer for that. I can't even give you guys an honest answer because because I can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. So there was also like, look, these are all this, this pile is all remember the old nightgowns when they would crochet that, that narrow little bodice piece and then over the shoulders. So that's what these are. There's all these, no, not this one. This one was this, this I think was for like, um, a small tablecloth, but not like a tablecloth. Do you know what I mean? more like a table scarf without being long. I don't know, whatever I'm saying, table decor. Let's go with that. That's what I think this piece was for. So there's, there's what that one looks like, but the rest of them here are those bodice thingies. And then there was, I'm positive a ribbon through here so that you could tighten it up and tie it, you know, in the center. And then your, then your gown flowed from from here. Wow. But here's the shoulders. But you have it upside down. Oh, I sure do. There's the shoulder. <laughs> and then you would, the ribbon would come around and then you would tie it and then the gown would flow down from there. Mm -hmm. But there's, I don't know, five or six of these, I think. Oh and my every gosh. one of them is totally different. There's this one. There's this one. And this one still has this, the um, silky gown fabric. There's that one. And then there's this one. Look at that one. This one actually has a sleeve in it. Wow. Yes, $9 million. You're right, Linda. You're absolutely right. So then look at this vintage trim. Look at that stuff. You know who I got to hang on to that for, right? 
<laughs> we have two orange girls, Jennifer and somebody else said they liked it. Who was that? Because there's two pieces here. Was, no, it Barbara that Hamilton? was it Barbara Hamilton? Yeah. Uh, yes, I think so. Hang on one second, guys. Okay. Yeah, it was Becky. I have a dog afraid of the thunder. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, ours doesn't like thunder either. And we're supposed to get thunderstorms for the next six days, right in a row. We'll see if that happens. Oh, I didn't know that, Amanda. Yeah, I would have thought blue. Orange is your favorite color. Oh, wow. Yeah, the way you're always after the blue, I would have never expected you to say orange. Never, never, ever. But yeah, and this is so totally like mod retro. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Then, oh... My gosh. She said she's not JJ obsessed, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good night, oh, Penny. Goodness. Oh, good night, Penny. Thanks for hanging out with us. So, this it's written in French. Written. Oh. Okay. Just wait for it. <laughs> this is. Like a grid paper. Can you guys, yeah, you guys, I think, can see that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the pages are, um, there's um, like stitches, like, like a French knot almost here. And look what's attached. I can't read French, so I have no idea what these pages say. But I do know that somebody <laughs> did embroidery samples and put oh, them wow. in this book. How freaking cool is this? Oh my gosh. I almost squealed. <laughs> Look at here. Ah. And then this is like a little pocket. Louise is probably yelling at me. Well, if you'd hold it still, I could read it. <laughs> no. Taylor says only someone who reads French can have those books like me. <laughs> <laughs> so then look, there's a little jacket in here oh my gosh look at that the oh my sleeve. gosh that's adorable isn't it look at the look at the trim wow i that just that is adorable i just love and i do know right there that it says chemise brazier i don't know what that means i mean i could kind of guess but I'm just saying that's what it, I can pick those words out and something about December of 1946. So that, that I can see to the camera. Hmm. Can you bring it up closer to the camera? Yeah, absolutely. Brasserie. That's what is that? I don't know. That's probably, that's what I pronounced brazier. So we'll see. Wow. Look at those baby pictures. I know they're adorable, right? Yeah. Lori, I knew you were going to flip out over the jacket. Look at this collar. Oh, and it is pink and it's blue. It's not purple. It's pink and blue. 
and see, I think it was meant, I don't know what the pictures are about. I don't, I don't know if it was find a picture and then do your interpretation. I'm not sure, but it has the prettiest little lace trim all the way around. It's just folded under right here, but it's there. I wonder if it was like a young girl that was learning how to embroider. I don't know. I don't know. But I absolutely, like literally almost squealed. Then you have this, and then there's this little pouch. With the initials, I can't decide if it's a G or a C, but I'm going to go with G. So it looks like J, G to me. Wow. And then here we have some sort of information, again, in French. Louise wants to know if that was spelled B-R-A-S-S-E-R-I-E. -S -S yes, ma'am. Yes. Then here's more stitch samples. Wow. And see how she's like weaving her thread, her embroidery thread in between the woven threads of the fabric. Mm -hmm. Louise says then it's a brewery shirt. Oh. Brasserie means brewery. Well, I was pretty close, close <coughs> with brassier then. <clears throat> like not even. And I think that's it in this one. I mean, you know, that's it. That's it. But yeah, I oh just, gosh. I love that. So then. <laughs> so then. then so then that wasn't enough oh my gosh i found you guys a few more photos look at these look look oh wow with no information so i literally have no idea where they're from i want to pretend they're all from france look at that baby who me <laughs> <laughs> Look at these two. Oh, we said to send her a pic of the written parts and she'll translate for you. <clears throat> okay. Thank you very much. Oh, she's pretty. Isn't she? Mm. Oh. There's so many kid ones. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's hard to find really cute kid ones. Look at her. I want to know about this lady right here. Right. I want to know about her whole life. Yep. She looks interesting. Hi, Angie. Hey, Angie. <clears throat> and then I want to know if this little guy grew up to be as happy as he is next. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at that. See, I feel like this one was like a communion or something, like her first right? and her, yeah. And be mostly because of the veil over there, because otherwise yep. it would have been like, you know, flower girl or something like that. But and I love the wedding ones. Oh, look at her headpiece. Her veil, wow. Oh, good night, Sally. Good night, Sally. Oh my gosh, that's so precious. Those are cool. Aren't they pretty? 
Yeah. And this is the one thing that might make me go back tomorrow because they thought there was another box that, that was a whole box instead of just these. Because these wow. are the only ones I found. Yeah, they thought that there was a whole box because there's like, because they were all like, wait, there was a ton. And I was like, oh, do tell. But they couldn't find them. So I guess they're going to try to look around and see if they can find them. So I might pop back in there tomorrow and see. It's just going to depend on weather more than anything. Yeah. Did she say, like, if those, did those come from France too? or Nobody knew. Nobody, nobody, nobody knew. knew. No. So that's why I said I just want to pretend that they did. Oh, good night, Luz. Good night, Luz. Thanks for hanging. Is that a ledger? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are they ledgers? Boy, yes. yes oh, my are. gosh. I'm telling you guys, it was a great day. <laughs> And I almost didn't go to this thing. I almost went, oh, I never do really good at estate sales. I'm so glad I went. I'm glad I had the day and I could go. Mm -hmm. Isn't this fun? My goodness. And it's just full. And then there's these, like just little, like little, like random tidbit things. And corrections done on like tissue paper and glued in. And the smallest writing I have ever seen in a ledger. Look here. Wow. So is this like a huge house or? Yes. Not like huge, like square like footage. Like mansion huge? huge. A nice, yeah. No, not mm. like that. But there was lots of rooms so it was everything was kind of like a, a maze but definitely an old you know turn of the century style age house right there's this and the garage was full and there was a shed and a basement and yeah i just took my time and had fun good night pam good night pam thanks for hanging out lorna's yelling She's what yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yelling over here. <laughs> Look at this one. These three are blank. They're all three exactly the same, and they're all blank. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. They're cool, cool. So I think there's, oh, oh, oh. What you forget? The boards. Oh, that's right. Oh, boards. Look at these. These are pinned. I think they're. I think it's pins. Pins. Yes. Pinned on here. Those are really old too. Mm-hmm. These are amazing. Absolutely amazing. And it's on this weird peachy fabric. Let me find a piece of, um, trying to find something white without lines on it. Oh, I'll just grab a piece of copy paper. One moment. So there's, there's how fine it really is. Wow. But yeah, this piece is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Then you've got that trim work up at the top. Right. Yeah, that looks antique too. Mm-hmm. And then this is a separate lace down the center here. Kathy, so Monday I have to go to bed too. <laughs> then there's this one, which I wish wow. it was. Yeah, yeah I that's, was that is incredible. I love this. Hi, Sherry. She wants to know what they are. I don't know. I feel like this is a collar and 
how would you say it? A jabot? I feel like this is the collar. And then this was that pretty, like, you know how guys wore ties? And then the women would have these pretty frilly things in the front. I feel like that's what this is. Because it's attached underneath this bow. These Becky, two are att attached. Becky says collar and ascot. Oh, ascot. Well, then what the heck is it? What's it? I don't know. I know how it's spelled. The J-O-B-T. What, what is that then? Wouldn't it, Linda? <laughs> so there's that one. And then this is what it looks like with the white underneath. Becky says that's French. So there's that one. But I just absolutely love this piece. Lisa said it would tuck into the shirt. Oh, the one I'm talking about, whereas the ascot stays on the outside. Now, is that pinned to um, fabric or is that a like a piece of cardboard or something. This is like a mauve colored fabric, but it's just crappy cardboard on the back. Oh, okay. yeah, this is on fabric. All right, because Lorna says, I'm sure the acid in that board has colored the lace. Oh, I would, if it was on the board, I would absolutely 100% agree with you. And this, I'm positive, is not its original color, but I don't think it was ever bright white either but it has just got the finest details. Like look down along the hem edge. Wow. Yeah, that's it amazing. Is just so pretty. <clears throat> oh, that makes sense, Becky. That really makes sense. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, right. no, somebody pinned them to that. Yep, she just yes, pinned them on here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you can see the pin sticking through. She just used whatever she had to mount it. Somebody just wanted to mount it. I have a hunch they were planning to frame it. Or maybe it was framed and they took it out before the estate sale because there was tons of empty frames there too. Right. So. Yeah. Beth says, I think you stumbled onto a sampler set for lack of a better description. Maybe. You might absolutely be right. You might, might be right. I have no idea. <laughs> Lorna thought that one um, was a sleeve, might, might have been a sleeve. Oh, this one? Yes. Hmm. That's entirely possible. Yeah, I have no idea because it is finished all the way around. There's no raw edges, and then it is gathered and stitched up here. So I, I have no idea. I'm not Catholic, but I didn't know if this was maybe one, like a super fancy, you know, I didn't they used to do the hair, the head pieces, the hair pieces, the women? Um, yeah, but they weren't shaped like that were they always square uh no they weren't well no they were like a rectangle and they just draped over the head you mean like the lace that they used to wear on their heads when they went into church I stepped away to go check on the dog. <laughs> okay. So I put a question in. Um, oh, in the private chat? Yes. Okay. So, anywho, <laughs> mm -hmm. here's what I think. 
Um, it's already 1230 here. Um, how do you guys feel about, we'll just tackle this Monday. Ugh, don't throw eggs. <laughs> <laughs> don't throw eggs. I did not, I re, hey, Debbie, I really did not think that it would take me two hours to show you guys that stuff. I'm kind of a little bit, like, stunned. <laughs> Luna, you did not just say that. <laughs> would I do that? Would I do that? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, if you end up going back tomorrow and you find more, you know? Yeah. That's All what I Monday. Okay, so so that since you guys seem pretty pretty cool about that, here's what I want to know. I'm not even going to ask about the ledger because I'm just positive somebody will. Oh, there's a couple of you probably want the whole thing, so I'm cool with that. This one is, however, in. Well, I'll just ask. You guys can vote. I'll just ask. Do you want me to leave it together as as the whole thing, or do you want me to hang on to it and break it down into packs? Because I'm trying really hard to accumulate enough different ones that I can separate them into some really cool packs for you guys. Um, so I just need to know, do we want this black one whole or break it down? I know Lauren is like me. She's going to be like, I want the whole thing. When it comes to ledgers, um, I, I, I just got to be honest. I always want the whole thing. <laughs> I want the whole one. Break Maybe it down. Line. Yeah, so we'll break it down. Easy. I will give you dibs on the cover for sure, Lorna. For sure. On the cover, absolutely. Yeah, break it down is okay. Yep. So packs for this one. Let me let me. I don't even know where my sticky notes or my sharpie went. Hold on, they're buried under lace. Okay, so packs. Um, make packs. Lorna. T. Cover. Okay, got it. Look, they used literally every inch of this thing. The whole inside is written on. It's just, I love this thing. It's so cool. So different, so cool. These three, I feel like I just want to do like, I'll just flat price these three and then we'll just, you know. The first three me's. Mm -hmm. And they're not like super thick, fancy covers at all. They're just like a, like a chipboard cover, but they're cool. <laughs> they are pretty cool. They're different. <laughs> the whole box of laces. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. It would be really pricey. I'm not going to lie. It would be really pricey. Um, I was okay paying what I paid for these because I didn't bring home a single piece that I'm not willing to keep or that I wouldn't love to keep. Do you know what I mean? So I, I spent some money on it. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So these, these, I'm hanging on to for a little while. I need to sleep with them, pet them, drool on them. I don't know. I, I don't mean, blame you. And yeah. th those, she said she might have, she thought she had a, like a box of them. Yeah. Yeah. If she has more of them, I will be perfectly willing to share. But I just really want to enjoy these. And I'm not even a blue girl. Like blue is not my go-to color. And these are just. That's, those are gorgeous. They are absolutely a gorgeous, a gorgeous, really a gorgeous. When did that become a word? Um, but they are. I just love them. Yeah. Sherry says so, break up the laces into groups or sets. Well, here's what I wanted to know. I could, I would be willing to entertain a 
build a bundle, maybe sort of situation, but it's going to be a pricey build a bundle. Do you know what I mean? Um, or we could do them by the piece. We could do, um, I could put them together, break it up into, you know, several lots or whatever, but I'm not cutting any of the pieces just so you guys know. Um, and we could do like several auction lots on it. I just need mm -hmm. to know, kind of point me in a direction so that I can get it prepped and ready. And the Patty Museum, yes. The velvet pieces, yeah, they're they're going to be hoarded for a little bit. Okay. By piece or small lots. Okay. Pieces, pieces lots. lots. Pieces, lots. Lots for auctions. Okay. Piece or small lots. You could you could divide them up into some small lots and auction them, mm -hmm. right? Right. Because I did, I did, because I knew I was going to struggle with this. I was so excited to get it and all of that. And um, I took all of the lace. She, um, I paid her separately for all the lace. So I know exactly what I spent on all the lace. It was the only way I was going to be able to figure out some way to make it reasonably um fair <laughs> because like this piece i'm like okay like i want <laughs> nine million dollars for this piece of lace um but no and i and i will be realistic about it um i haven't had it long enough to be emotionally attached to any of it so that's another reason that i wanted to turn the camera on and show it to you guys because <laughs> Some of this would have just gone into the drawer and I don't have that. I don't have to share it. <laughs> That's what happens when things go in the drawer. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, no snip oh my bags. God. I couldn't cut the, there's some of these I absolutely could not take scissors to. Not yet. You could send it all to me and I could make snippet bags. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> that could be arranged. <laughs> I am not the girl. Some of this stuff, I would absolutely cringe cutting. Um, so, yeah, I will work on, like, this piece that's got some yardage to it. I know it would be really nice to get this out to you guys. This piece, I think I could cut if I'm going to make lots, because this is um, not a handmade piece. I'm positive that this is a factory bobbin lace, which does not take away from the pretty or the antiqueness of it, the age of it, the quality of it, any of that. It's still absolutely stunning. Um, and I'm positive there's at least three yards here. So, um, oh, by the foot, that's an option too. Okay. And you could do some, you could divide them into some lots and do um, some auction and some, you know, uh, like the first me or right. whatever. Right. But, you know, and I, and I, I do want to keep it, you know, where everybody can kind of try to get a piece of some of this because I know it's really special stuff. It's different. We don't come across this stuff every day. So, you know, it's like the paper, you know, like when I found the 1720 Bible, you know, I wanted all of you to have some because the paper was just amazing. So that's kind of how I feel about this. I want to get it to as many of you as I can without it being ridiculous. Right. So, um, and like this piece, I could cut this one. It's, it's, it is really dainty and it's beautiful, but I know it's not going to fray and fall apart. So. Right. The handmade ones, I'm not going to cut. The hand crocheted or like the tatting pieces, um, anything that's going to come apart, if I cut it, I'm not cutting. These um, more woven or bobbin thread ones, these I can cut. So I don't have a problem with that. Um, yeah. Can so I now I do. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, you can. I agree, Lisa. You can. All uh -oh. sounds good to me. She's turning into the pumpkin. Yep. Good night, Miss Lorna. Thanks for hanging out with us. So, okay, I think I have a plan. So, this one is, I think, a stitched. Didn't this one have a seam in it? This one, I wouldn't. It would. I wouldn't have a complete heart attack. Um, I could go ahead and make this one into two pieces. Since it's got a seam right there, I'll just cut it right on the seam. So then two, like two people could get that. I'll split it up into two, that kind of thing. Hey, JJ. Hey, you missed, Jennifer. You missed, what is it, Patty? Everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> All sarcasm aside, though, if I hadn't been running off at the mouth, we would have just gone off. <laughs> <laughs> You came in just in time to say hello, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, you'll have to go back and watch, Jennifer. There's a couple pieces. You're, oh, she can maybe see it peeking through right here. Look at that. She didn't sell any of it, though, JJ. Yeah, yeah, you didn't miss any any of that part. So, yeah, just go back and rewatch if you want to, honey, because all I did was preview everything. Some cool stuff. And I didn't even show you guys any books. You got books too? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, and this bag. Look at this bag. Oh, this way. I love this bag. Ooh. You're going to keep that, aren't you? Yes. That's beautiful. And it's done Look with like at that. That like plasticky stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'm keeping it. For sure. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Not a purse because it's scratchy. Because this is like, I don't know, some weird hem like or I don't know, but it's rough. It's not burlap? No, it's not burlap. I don't know what it is, but it's really rough and like scratchy. Huh. So I'm not using it for like a bag. But look, definitely, definitely vintage. Look at that tag. Wow. And see, it's got like this weird plastic like i don't know yeah but it's definitely woven it makes me think of produce bags <laughs> like right. old, oh it, yeah like the old potato bags that's what it makes me think of yeah jute becky says jute oh it, yes it might be jute it might be but yeah it's that's pretty very cool. cool and then there's the bottom love the colors in it yeah it's super cool if I ever decide that I don't, and that I'm not keeping it, I'll give you guys dibs on it. I won't send it like to the resale place or something. Beth wants to know what what does the tag say? Oh, it said Mr. Ernest handmade or no wait, Mr. Ernest handbag ink Simon made in the Philippines. E R N E S T. Wow. Oh my gosh, dinner with your parents. I agree with Lisa. Yeah. Enjoy your parents. Absolutely. Because we'll always be here again, for sure. So. Yep, fur. I I kind of love this one. Mm -hmm. So, okay, you guys. I think I'm gonna use. See if I can get it to grab this hot mess <clears throat> stuff. <laughs> so Patty scores again. <laughs> <laughs> that was. This was absolutely not expected. Like totally not expected. I I would love to go to an estate sale. Oh my gosh. I've never I've never hit a jackpot like this at the estate sale. I mean, I've done well at them, but not like this much of this quality lace ever. You find a piece or two, not like, you know, half a trunk. 
So nice, nice. Nope, not hallucinating, ma'am. Not <laughs> hallucinating. She says, I hope you're saving all this stuff for next Thursday night. Monday. 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 <laughs> I know Monday's a rough night for you, Jennifer. Um, I will hold this trim back for you, though. I will hang on to it till Thursday for sure. Ooh, that storm was pretty cool, Lisa. For those of you that don't know, Lisa and I live in the same state, and she just lives. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, she lives north <laughs> and east of me a little. So, I looked at our weather um, when you went to check on the dog, and. Uh -huh. It's showing the next, starting tomorrow, for the next six days, we're supposed to get thunderstorms. Ugh. Six days in a row. You might need to I look. I mean, probably it will change, hopefully. You might need to look into renting a canoe before <clears throat> they're all gone. Well, the thing is, is it's not showing rain. It's just showing thunder and clouds. Oh, I, so I don't know. I'm not, I mean, lightning and clouds. So I'm no, not sure. No, I don't that like means. that heat lightning stuff. No. It's just weird. I don't like that. Oh, we we get it, and it looks like it's hitting the ground. It, it looks so close. Huh. Oh, and then she says the front is coming from the north. Never mind. I guess that's the next wave coming here. <laughs> yep. If it's really wicked, send me a message. Let me know. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, my gosh. See, I don't pay a lot of attention to the weather because it, I just feel like there's no there's nothing I can do about it. No, and they're not always right, and it always changes. Yeah. I'm not making any plans based on weather. Ever. No, either. Ever, ever. Cool. Yeah, it just it just rained really hard here and thundered a lot. It didn't seem like it was windy, so. We've been having a lot of humidity here really high, like in the night. Yeah, that's what it was like here yep. today. Real high humidity and like 95. It was gross. Really, really gross. So, all right, ladies. I know it's late. Everybody enjoy the rest of your weekend. <laughs> yes, and have a nice weekend. If we don't see you before, we will see you Monday. Karen Rogers, if you're still here, I will check that email and get back with you. Um, yeah, if you guys need me. I will check in a couple times between now and Monday um, on my email and um, uh, messenger. So, okay. Sounds okay. good. All righty, ladies. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. With us. Nope, it didn't click it.